Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Kanak Info Systems LLP. And this time we are back to explore a new feature in the ERP Next databases. Well, if you've been following us for some time and you've been seeing our videos, you will know that each time we come up with a new video wherein we go through in depth to a certain feature in the ERP system. Now it can be ERP Next or Udo since we work for both. Today it's about setting a sales target for a specific salesperson in your ERP Next databases. So without further ado, let's head right into the video. It is uh, very important to use analytical tools and predictive analytics and forecasted future revenues in order to gear up for the upcoming financial year, isn't it? Now with the advancement of technology, we can use these tools and uh, ERP Next has a very special feature to manage those sales targets of uh, your salespersons and analyze their performances based on those preset targets and the variance between the actual achieved uh, target. Now, uh, in order to set a salesperson in ERP Next, we have some prerequisites which are item, customer and salesperson. Now let us head right into the salesperson list using our awesome bar. Now I'll create a new salesperson. I'll add the employee who is the salesperson from here. I'll give them a parent salesperson. And I can set up a commission rate. Now this commission rate would further help us in calculating the incentive of the salesperson. I'll also tell you how to do that but right now we'll set up the commission rate in percentage. And in here we can set up the target for this person. You can select on what item group is this applicable for. You can select this uh, fiscal year. You can set a certain quantity as the target as well as the amount. Now target distribution. You can create a new monthly distribution and allocate the percentage. Make sure that the total of all of these percentages are equal to 100. You can give it a name and select the fiscal year it is applicable for. I'll go back to my salesperson and I'll select a certain target distribution that I've already prepared for. And I'll save the salesperson. So when you head into the salesperson's uh, details, you can see that we can see the total contribution amount against orders. We can see the uh, contribution amount against invoices. We have all of these details in here. Now let us allocate the salesperson to a certain customer. Why we are doing this, I'll tell you. But first we'll create a new customer. Select the customer group. And in here in the sales team, I can add the salesperson who is working for this customer, let's say Ria is, and what her total contribution in their sales would be. Let's say she works 50% for them. And the rest, the other 50% is Priya, the parent um, salesperson or sales manager for uh, Ria the team leader for Ria and her contribution is also 50 but we have not defined her commission rate so we would not be able to put in that here. Now I'll add the territory of my customer and I'll save this. 
why are we doing this and why are we uh, configuring or uh, entering the details of salesperson and their contribution in a specific customer is because when we will be preparing the sales order for this certain customer the details about their salesperson and their contribution would be then fetched directly and we would not have to manu manually put in that i'll show you we'll go to sales order we'll create a new sales order we will create a new sales order and i'll show you how uh, the sales person that we have uh, added or configured in the customer's master would reflect and uh, how it's going to help in the further transactions first of all i'm going to select the customer put in a delivery date I'll add the product I'll save it now once I go to the more info tab I can see that both of the salesperson that I had configured and their contribution have been already added here I did not have to manually put in every time I produce a sales order so that is how it helps when you configure the salesperson details in the customer master as in here you can see the commission rate is also showing that i had set for ria and uh, the incentive was then further calculated basis on on that and i don't have to do that manually now i'll go on and submit this now i'll show you how the variance report an, another striking feature of erp next would reflect this now the variance report refers to a report which which would be calculated on the basis of the preset target and the achieved and what would be the variance of that this can help you determine a capability of the salesperson and also in determining the budget and the financials of your financial year this report is available in uh, csv and excel format you can download it you can apply several filters I'll just show you how you can do that. I'll select the financial here over here first. And as I can see, Riyaz uh, and Rajesh's details have been shown here. You can see that variance for the month of June has been reflected in green. That means she has a uh, overachieved her target which is why it is reflecting in green and uh, if you have, if a salesperson has not achieved their set target it is reflected in red so that how the variance is uh, shown here you can select uh, different time periods to view the report you can select quarterly half yearly or yearly all of that will be visible over here and uh, the variance would be reflected in these two colors depending upon if it's overachieved or underachieved you can select the basis of quantity or amount you can set that filter as well even then we can see the variance is reflected in these two colors over here you can also select this on the basis of a delivery note in that case both of these variances are in negative or you can also see it on the basic basis of the sale invoice in here you can configure the company if you're looking uh, for a salesperson from another branch of your company you can uh, choose the filter over here you can change the fiscal year so all of these filters would help you uh, generate the reports now from here I can also export it which means download it in either Excel or CSV format so this would help you analyze your financials for a particular year, uh, the capabilities of your salespersons and how much they've achieved, how much they've not. You can further reward them on the basis of the same. You can plan out your next financial year on the basis of the reports of uh, the current financial years. This actually smoothens out a lot of your uh, problems related to the analytics of your financials and it definitely helps you in managing a better forecasts for your company this also helps in determining the exact revenue generation since all of this is aut automated so there are no chances of manual errors
We hope you liked our video and got some insights about the ERP Next and how you can uh, configure sales targets for your salespersons in ERP Next. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. We try and come up with such many more insightful videos which makes the ERP journey of your company easy and hassle-free. If you've been following us for some time, you would know that we love to communicate with our audience and answer their queries regarding ERP services, either that if it's Udo or ERP Next. So you can book a free consultation with us now and get answers to all your queries. Till then, stay tuned.